Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again for yet another Jack Specific World of Super Mario 2.5 inch video. It's been a while since uh, I did that big giant collection video, a couple months here and there, but now, well, we got some fall, winterish 2023 offerings. Now, I'm very happy with myself. I finally found this dang Monty Mole figure. He's come out a while ago, but eh, it just has remained elusive to me. But for those of you who maybe have not seen him yet, here's the barcode and everything else to, yeah, hopefully help you find it. There's a whole bunch of this new stuff hitting Target stores. Obviously, that's where I picked up mine. Like this freaking awesome set right here that came, uh, debuted from San Diego Comic-Con 2023, Wiggler mario and luigi which of course we are getting the same mario again which yeah luigi same thing 20 points of articulation for wiggler though that is definitely going to be the star of this little box set and on the back side it's really cool because this is new super mario brothers keeping with all the play sets soda jungle wiggler you could call him i believe that's what they said at san diego comic-con anyway so you could just call him that but for those of you who just want to keep it simple it's wiggler and yes he is a target store exclusive but this right here it's been a while since we've had a really cool diorama play set and we're going back to bowser again of course with deluxe bowser battle play set you got to say that all in one go make sure you say it right bowser Ready to drop that axe on you, man. On the back side of this giant box, like, not even joking. It's kind of funny. This is the end level, basically. When you hit the little axe and Bowser falls down the little bridge that pulls out. It's very cool. I actually am uh, very stoked to check this out. So, of course, yeah, dropping axe, glowing lava. It lights up. It's got sounds. There's also the airship set that's coming play set and the additive diorama so that'll be hitting store shelves soon and here's the barcode for bowser's play set so this is going to be an absolute blast it's been a while since we've looked at some mario stuff but i'm very excited as always to so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new super mario 2.5 inch jack specific the soda jungle wiggler which is a target exclusive and the Deluxe Bowser Battle Playset. Oh, and don't forget Monty Mole. He's in there too, of course, right? But here's everything out of the packaging for Wiggler. And it's very simple, right? Of course. But before we get there, let's talk about this freaking mole, man. This thing was a pain in the butt to find. I had no problem finding Buzzy Beetle, but <laughs> I sound like a madman. <laughs> They did have lots of paint apps on this guy. They even painted his little hands, right? That's very cool. He's cute. He's adorable. He's got some articulation to him. He's a jerk. He's one of those moles that just, man, they throw stuff and they pop up from the ground. And I think he did a great job. But for the Wiggler sets, right? You have Mario and you have Luigi, which are very integral to this set, I feel like. Because most people, most normal people, are going to look at Wiggler and go, what the heck is that? But we know. We Nintendo people know, right? N64 peoples, I know you're out there somewhere. Standard articulation, same figures. Mario and Luigi, we've gotten them day in, day out. There's nothing new here. But they're painted nicely along with Wiggler. <laughs> and the Wiggler, this is really funny. I went to Target, had the guy scan the barcode. Guy comes out, back room, and goes, hey, here's your Wiggler, man. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Didn't realize how big the box was, but he's got his little flower on his head. He got a little articulation there. That's painted nicely. That's done nicely. The face, the nose, the eyes. He's largely going to be like yellow plastic, so don't think it's too crazy or anything. But it's so video game accurate that I, I love it. The fact that we're getting this is amazing. And yes, he does have a lot of articulation. You can twist him at the neck. You can use his nose. It'll kind of sort of shift up and down all of them all the segments kind of sort of move up and down they rotate they spin and then on top of all that you can kind of get them all wiggling for the wiggler right that's very cool but the legs are all articulated and they'll move forward kind of sort of backward nothing twists at the boot i thought that would have been kind of cool so you could kind of have them all different right but they essentially go forward back and off to the side so each one is segmented, all the legs move, the head moves, you get enough articulation to say, yeah, that's 
that's a fully functional Wiggler figure, right? So who to thunk it? I can honestly say I wasn't asking for this, but now that I have it, I'm like, yeah, that would make for a great 2.5 inch display, right? You got to get all the legs kind of shifted. You can do it every which way. It just looks like he's walking around his little web world in N64, or the Soda Jungle, and you get Mario, and you can have him bouncing on his back to get to new levels and grabbing stars and whatever else, right? You can put Mario on the back of it, but as soon as you move it, he falls off. And that's honestly where I wish that the Wiggler had some pegs on his back and the Mario had a peg hole and you could kind of put them on there, right? I like it the way it is, don't get me wrong. Like, you can just make it work for yourself. But that would have added a little bit of play feature, I think especially for kids. Now, I definitely know Wiggler best from N64 days, right? Even before that, Super Nintendo. This is the new Wiggler. So, he's a lot bigger, right, from new Super Mario Brothers. For those of you who collect 4-inch, he will actually go right well with this Wiggler. And, again, reminds me of N64. So, yes, it's every bit new Super Mario Brothers Wiggler. You can even re-release another one and give him little hands, right? Little glove mitt hands. You could even do a repaint later on if you wanted to with a Mad Wiggler, right? So as you can plainly see here from Super Nintendo, right? Super Mario World, Wiggler used to be a lot smaller. But regardless of the iteration, time frame, if you're young, if you're old, I think that for the most part, Mario characters really do a good job at transcending all the various video games. And like I said, if kids love to play video games, well, then yeah, some of them are gonna like the toys and really vice versa. But when I always talk about the Mario stuff, you kind of have to look at it like, this blows my mind as a collector because I love it. But as we all know, kids are very different these days. Within the Bowser level playset, there's lots of little twisty ties and things you have to cut. Parents, you're going to have to help the kids, right, with scissors, just as a heads up. There is an instruction booklet. There is a backdrop to this level, which you'll have to pull out. You're going to need a screwdriver, and you're going to need two AA batteries, just as a heads up. So you open it up, and you put the batteries in, and maybe use the same batteries. I just pulled whatever I had in my battery bag. Now, it's very much intuitive. you got the ground level. You've got this part that fits into the ground level. Then you've got the lava, which is very cool. That just plugs in in the front. On the back side, you have these two black pillars. They fit in. They correspond. They have little notches. You'll know what's fitting in what. You really can't mess this up. And then you go ahead and take the paperish cardboard background, slide that in. More on that in just a few. There's a little lever right here on the side, and that's very cool because that raises the drawbridge, right? That's very cool. Go ahead and switch it on. Bingo, bango. You get your Bowser and... You've got a cool level. Make sure you get a Mario. Mario should have been included with this, I feel like. He's very integral to this whole systematic level, right? So, here it is. Final battle. Mario has gone through every single world, and you're going up against Bowser, finally. Make sure you brought a mushroom, right? You're dodging all the fireballs. You're waiting for him to jump. You jump over the Bowser. Bowser turns around, and you know what? I think we should shut the lights off for this, right? Look how cool that looks. That actually looks pretty amazing. That's final battle stuff. Push the lever and... <laughs> Here it is from multiple angles, by the way, but that is cool. Again, Jack Specific, you nailed it. It's exactly what you see in the video game. That is stellar. From the lava to the lights to the bridge falling... It's very cool. Now, I did leave this on for quite some time, and I will say for about five to ten minutes or so, I mean, the lights never shut off. Nothing really shut off. I'm used to Jack specific stuff. Sometimes it just goes off on its own. The Bowser, though, is a nice standout. It's a new Bowser 2.5-inch figure, a lot more articulation. He doesn't have that weird dot in the middle of his forehead when they're differentiating the eyebrows, right? He's got some tail articulation, very nice paint. Minimal leg articulation, they kind of sort of swivel, right? Definitely get some up and down rotation in the arms, and he will twist at the head. So, that's a nice little update, and we learned at SCCC we're getting new updates for the Marios and the Luigis for 2.5 inch. The cardboard backdrop is not my favorite. I wish it was a lot more sturdy. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get a hold of this thing. It's very paper thin, basically. It has a nice gloss, nice sheen, nice imagery right of the backdrop of bowser i'm not knocking him for that but it's very flimsy 
and I don't really care for that. Now, with the button right here, right, you go ahead, you push this down, of course, and then when the axe comes back up, it doesn't go all the way, you kind of have to move it. I know, it's not a huge problem. And actually, what I think is a nice play feature, especially for kids, is the little lever right here that raises the drawbridge instantly. And you can have Luigi and a Monty Mole in the same situation as Bowser, and you push the button and you drop Monty Mole to his death right in the fire pits or you can finally get your sweet revenge on the mario brothers it totally works for them as well now for my mind right i thought well maybe this will work right the four inch figures maybe the movie figures they're gonna be a little bit too big we'll say mario fits but that's really the extent of the size that's gonna work with this set so in all honesty i will tell you this I love it. I think it's very cool. There's some nitpicks here and there, but in totality, it does exactly what you want it to do. It lights up beautifully. I think some music playing, that would have been kind of cool, right? But the fact that you push the button, the lever goes down, it hits the bridge, you drop Bowser, you couldn't ask for anything better. They nailed it through and through. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Jack Specific World of Super Mario 2.5 inch, the Target exclusive Soda Jungle Wiggler gift set with Mario and Luigi. And then you have the deluxe Bowser Battle playset. And again, for me being such a huge fan of what they're doing with the Mario systems and the 2.5 inch figures, the four inch figures, this is great. As an adult collector, muy fantastico, and I can't wait till you get some more sets going. I'll give it a six months or so, and hopefully I'll be doing one of my world's largest 2.5-inch Mario collection vids again. As far as kids go, it's going to be a mixed bag. I think they'll like it initially. There might not be a whole lot to keep bringing them back and forth, right? But, I mean, it's still awesome at the same time. So... I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep on bringing these Mario sets. They're a joy. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.